Hey guys and welcome back. Today I'm just gonna take a brief look at Starfield and some mods for Starfield. There will be a new Jagged Alliance video out soon as well, hopefully. But for now, let's look at Starfield mods. Now the very first mod that I simply cannot live without is the Star UI. If you look at the inventory, you can see that everything got a little bit smaller. But if you go into, say, for instance, guns, you get a lot more info on every gun and you can see all your guns, even if you have a very big list. Again, you can see the difference between the old and the new one here. I like this and I simply cannot play without it anymore, to be honest. Also, there's a, a lot of nice uh, sorting options down here. Or if you go into the weapons, you can see melee weapons and guns rifles and so on so so a lot more sorting options you will even get icons for keys text books ammunition and so on now another mod i wanted to look at was the underlaid menus and basically what it does is that the switch between the different menus is a lot faster this is just a very small mod that makes it so that you can yeah pretty much switch between the screens without having the delay and so this is on the late menus it's just simply a lot faster now the third mod i suggest you get is compact mission ui and and it's pretty much the same as the star ui everything is a little bit smaller everything is a lot easier to see rather than the big icons you can see on the old version we here have the the very nice and clean and gives you a better overview of everything in my opinion compact mission ui now the fourth mod i suggest you get but of course that is a matter of taste is the neutral lots basically it removes a lot of the fog uh, or filters and in my opinion it simply just makes everything look better more sharp more crisp more everything now, of course, if you are in a place like Mars, uh, the view will change quite a lot using lots or no lots. To me, it's less red, but it's also a lot clearer what we're looking at. And uh, again, it's of course a matter of opinion. Um, when it comes to Mars, I actually do prefer the no lots uh, version. Also, in some random places, removing the lots will actually improve the view distance. And again, every color just stands out more, in my opinion. Even the interiors just look better. I do feel that the colors stand out more, the edges are sharper, and everything just looks better. This is definitely a mod that uh, I can't stop using now that I started. So the very last mod of today is the Baka Achievement Enabler. Now the four mods I've gone through today are not mods that changes the game or makes it easier or harder or breaks the balance uh, it's pretty much just graphics or um, menu overhauls ui overhauls but if you have a mod installed you cannot do the achievements of the game so to solve that problem you can download the backer achievement in april and that will make it so that you can actually do the achievements even though you have mods installed now all five mods I've installed today are installed via uh, Vortex from Nexus Mods, the Vortex installer. And I've had absolutely no problem with getting them to work. This was five mods in five minutes. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, press that subscribe button, help me out. And uh, that's it for now. Rags are out.